as you know, uh, Celebrate Mercy, our whole purpose and mission is to teach about the life and character of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and respond to misinformation and attacks against the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we do this through our webcast, as you're attending right now on our website, and also our social media as well. And we began three years ago. Our first webcast had 78 countries that tuned in, and that was organized within a one-month period. That's the flyer from that webcast. And the cool thing that happened when we first started our Twitter account um, is we call it like a Twitter miracle, actually, because before we even had a website, an organization registered, um, Twitter gave us these two words to verify that we were not a robot when registering. And the two randomly generated words were pluralistic Muhammad. Pluralistic Muhammad. Isn't that amazing? Um, Muhammad for all people. And this is a testimonial that we received from someone in the United Kingdom soon after the first webcast. The person who said, that lecture saved my life and I want to keep it near my heart. Thank you so much for doing this. It has redefined the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to me. I had not love for the Prophet because I was teased for being Muslim and blamed it on him, peace be upon him. This has brought me so much respect for this man, and now I love him so much. Thanks, you saved my deen. You saved my religion. Amazing testimonial we got. And our second webcast a few months later was called The Man and Month of Mercy. We had a few volunteers who came in from around the country uh, to help us out to organize that. Currently, we have 1,300 people, I think that's about the right number, who have signed up to be a volunteer with Celebrate Mercy. They filled out an extensive form to become a volunteer, letting us know what skills they have. And, some, and, and many of them actually uploaded their resumes, their CVs, uh, to tell us about their work experience. So we have over 1,200, almost 1,300 people around the world who have said, we want to help Celebrate Mercy as a volunteer, mashallah. That just shows how committed and, and how much love people have for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And these are the groups that signed up. Um, just after our second webcast, we had groups who watched it around the world. Our third webcast was called An Orphan's Odyssey um, about the childhood of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Our fourth webcast had 10,000 viewers. This was about a year ago, February of 2012, uh, about 10,000 viewers from 90 countries. And this was about the married life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and lessons we can learn from his married life. As you can see, we translated the flyer in multiple languages. Everyone in the United Kingdom or Canada or the United States or Australia who wants us to ship them flyers and posters, we ship those out for free, absolutely free. And last February, we shipped out over 15,000 flyers. Now it's probably near 20,000 for this webcast. And if you click on the screen, you can order flyers to be shipped to you, and maybe you can hand them out at the Friday prayer on Jummah, inshallah. As you know, the Prophet Sallallahu said, convey this message even if, even if with one sentence. And here are pictures of our groups that join us from around the world. It's not too late to organize a group of 10 people or more to watch the upcoming six shows, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Actually, I'm not sure if we're doing Friday. I think it's Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Six shows on those three days. And if you organize a group viewing, we can design a flyer for you. So when you're registering your group, tell us the address the phone number, the email address, we can design a flyer for you and send it to you as a file that you can print and distribute in your own community. MashaAllah. And here are pictures of our flyers around the world. We also post regular content on Facebook and on Twitter. For example, these quotes by the Prophet, peace be upon him, and quotes about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And here's another testimonial of someone who said, this is in February last year. It softened my heart after years of having a hard heart. I would definitely recommend it to others. And a non-Muslim viewer, um, you know, one of our friends of another faith who said, 
As a non-Muslim, I had expected to feel isolated, left out. But the webcast was so amazingly inclusive and heart-touching. I learned so much and met so many incredible speakers. And this person said, I will be donating, I promise. And actually yesterday, she was here, and she signed up as one of our monthly donors, mashallah. As a non-Muslim, signing up as a monthly donor to Celebrate Mercy. Isn't that amazing? So in Ramadan, we had our fifth webcast called The Dawn of Mercy, as you can see here. And this was about the first revelation, as we talked about earlier. And look at this testimonial that really touched me and touched so many people. This person who said, at a time when I was in my darkest moments since reverting to Islam in 2009, when I was on the edge, close to leaving Islam, this webcast has renewed my faith. It brought me back to the moment when I first said the Shahada, heart full of Iman and light. It has made me look at the Prophet, peace be upon him, in an entirely different way than I could have ever imagined. And I must say, I am truly in love. This webcast has changed my life. So here's a person about to leave the religion of Islam, and after watching the webcast, decides to remain as a, as a Muslim and renews her faith. SubhanAllah. Isn't that amazing? And in last Ramadan, we had 9,500 viewers, 60% from North America, and two-thirds, nearly two-thirds of the viewers are under the age of 35. So we have a lot of young people watching this program, alhamdulillah. Um, and 15%, as you can see there, are converts to the religion. Recently, in the past year, our Facebook page has grown from 50,000 likes to over 300,000 likes on Facebook. So we're active there. These are the countries giving us the most likes, Egypt, Pakistan, Indonesia, Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, Malaysia, USA, Jordan, and Palestine as one of our top 10 likers on Facebook. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? And then you have the Twitter page, which has been growing so much in the past year. MashaAllah, the efforts of Sister Sijiani, who's one of our management team, and Sister Maliha and Sister Riham, um, and others you know, who have been helping us really to grow in the Twitter department. We are nearing 6,000 followers now on Twitter. Since Ramadan, we've done four main activities. One of them was going to the ISNA convention, where we had a really nice booth there um, and brought speakers and did live interviews about the Prophet Wasallam in the middle of the ISNA Bazaar in Washington, D.C. Another was the campaign um, to respond to evil with good. We all know of that YouTube video that came out, that insulting, rude, disgusting video that came out about the Prophet Wasallam on YouTube, but many Muslims around the world reacted with violence and vandalism, unfortunately. And at that same time, the United States ambassador to Libya, who was a very good man, who loved the Muslim community and loved the Libyan people, was killed at the, at the consulate in Libya um, as an innocent man. And when he was killed, we decided, let's respond to all this chaos with a good deed and let's send letters to the family of Ambassador Chris Stevens as a Muslim community, a worldwide ummah. Our goal was 1,000 letters in 10 days. We bumped it up to 5,000 letters, and it became a very global campaign, as you can see here in multiple languages. We had prominent individuals like the former Undersecretary General of the United Nations, the, the uh, co-anchor of ABC News Nightline, who tweeted out our story of the Mercy Mail campaign to over a million followers. Deepak Chopra tweeted it out twice. We have Asif Manavi from The Daily Show, Yusuf Islam. These athletes, politicians, uh, singers, journalists, newscasters, they tweeted out this story to over 40 million people. In fact, one of our volunteers, she began to be followed by Tom Cruise when he saw the story of the Mercy Mail campaign. He added her and became her follower on Twitter as a result of this story. And we got contacted by the uh, sister of Chris Stevens, um, and, we, and, and you can see her response here. Um, Dr. Ann Stevens, who said, to think that people we didn't even know were writing us letters of condolence just because they were so touched by the death of my brother, 
was really very touching. And that's a picture of her and her brother when they were kids on the left there. I met with her and I gave her a book of 7,700 letters from 115 countries around the world. This was last November, alhamdulillah. And she was very touched by this, very touched. And I gave her a few books as well on the story of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. I'm still in touch with her and she was very, very appreciative for that. The story of this meeting with Dr. Ann Stevens made it on major media. It made it to the front page of CNN.com, the front page of CNN.com. The, the third event we did after the, uh, the Ramadan webcast was the One Billion Salawat Day. We did this, this was an idea of Imam Zaid Shakir, and we built the website for this um, and also did a lot of the design work as well. And this is called One Billion Salawat Day, launched on November 4th, 2012, asking Muslims to not just write letters, but to send blessings and peace upon our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the same day to pledge a certain amount of salawat. And as we know, every time you say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you, 10 of your sins are forgiven and 10 blessings come to you from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and peace enters your heart. And we had almost 15,000 Muslims around the world in groups, and as families, as married couples, as individuals who joined and prayed salawat on the Prophet ﷺ on that day, over 130 million salawat on that day after Maghrib on November 4th, alhamdulillah. You can see here's Imam Zaid Shakir and groups around the world who did that as well. Very successful campaign, very blessed campaign. And since that campaign, we've been continually recording the videos of our speakers around the world. Um, I recently came back from a trip to Egypt, the Emirates. We were recording speakers there, having important meetings there. We go around the world to get them. And now, alhamdulillah, we have 85, maybe almost 90 groups who are registered to watch this webcast, um, this April webcast around the world. Just today, we got a new group from Hyderabad, India, 75 to 100 people registered. And we have a group from South Korea that registered. We have a group from Tajikistan who registered. New places we've never been, alhamdulillah. Amazing, amazing. And lastly, one of the programs that we've done is a course, a weekend program that we can bring to your masjid, to your community, to teach about the, the beautiful characteristics of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This class is called Portrait of a Prophet. And we, can, we held this once. Uh, this year as a pilot test and it worked beautifully with Sheikh Hassan of also of Knoxville, Tennessee and uh, we covered the beautiful characteristics of our Prophet ﷺ, how he ate, how he slept, how he walked, how he talked, how he passed away, all the beautiful hadith in this beautiful book called the Shama'il of Imam Tirmidhi and the lessons that we can learn from it and inshallah if you're interested to bring this class to your own masjid, to your own community um, we already have plans to do this in the fall, inshallah, in Washington, D.C. area, also in Dubai, hopefully by the end of the year as well. So please let us know, uh, email us, and you can bring this program to your community. Here are some of the pictures from that blessed weekend we had in Cincinnati, Ohio, mashallah. So we've talked about the past. What do we want to do as, a, as an organization in the future, and why should you help Celebrate Mercy? One is that we only have one paid staff member right now, Sister Hasna. For three years, it was only run by volunteers, and it was very difficult to manage this big organization. After, especially after the Mercy Mail campaign, things just blew up. We had so many people wanting to help volunteers. Uh, we got some support. We hired one person to help us manage this but we still need a, to hire at least a few more people to help to achieve our future goals, inshallah, because the hired staff serve as the pillars that can mobilize the global volunteers around the world, inshallah. So help us, with, you can help us there. You can help us to continue to improve these webcasts twice a year. You can help us by um, improving our website. You know, we, we had a recent make a makeover of our website. We want to continue doing more Mercy Mission campaigns um, like the, like we did for Ambassador Stevens, but we want to do more that help the orphans, help refugees, 
things that show the mercy of the prophetic mission, the mercy of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As we said, we want to take these courses around the world. We want to continue going to Muslim conventions and telling people about Celebrate Mercy uh, and posting content online. We want to start hosting retreats um, and co-sponsoring retreats around the world that teach people in a nature setting about the life of the Prophet and the character of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We want to publish responses to common attacks against the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you, if you think about it, we are very disorganized as a Muslim community when it comes to, you know, someone can post this video on YouTube that's so insulting, so historically inaccurate. But what do we have as a response to those videos? Instead of burning down Kentucky Fried Chickens or Western businesses or attacking people, why don't we have an amazing video to respond to a disgusting video? Why don't we have books and brochures and scholarly works that make sense, that are creative, that respond to these attacks against the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? This is what Celebrate Mercy wants to do. If we have the funding, if we have the staff, if we have the volunteers and the researchers, we can be at the forefront of not just honoring the Prophet but defending the Prophet's name and legacy as well. And we, we aim to do this, inshallah. Eventually, we'd like to take small groups to Umrah and Hajj trips to, to these sacred cities, Mecca, Medina, and to learn about the Sirah in those beautiful cities with a small group of people, um, and eventually Hajj as well, inshallah. Imagine a Celebrate Mercy caravan or trip to, to these beautiful locations, inshallah. So that being said, what we need from you is your time as a volunteer, inshallah. We would love to have your time. We need your prayers as well, um, your dua, and we need your funds. <laughs> we need some help financially. And in terms of donating, we want to encourage you to become a monthly donor. People don't realize how much money is spent to put together a webcast like this, just the technology that you're using right now. Um, we're limited to 200 computers that can connect to this webcast. But if we had more funds, we could expand that to allow more people to benefit. Um, this webcast costs up to $25,000 to put together. And we're not, we're not even at the point where we've broken even with those expenses. So we really hope if you click on the screen that you can give a donation, especially as a monthly donor to Celebrate Mercy. Um, here is our, our chart right now. We currently have 30, actually it's probably closer to 35 to 40 monthly donors so far, people who are giving at least $10 a day. So I'd like to ask our audience here, and I'll show you this green arrow. When you sign up as a monthly donor, please remember to to in this in this part of the screen when you sign up to select the number of months that you want to donate a monthly amount you know just two days ago I spent ten dollars on my lunch when I went out to eat ten dollars you know so imagine if you're just giving ten dollars a month or twenty five dollars a month ten dollars is less than fifty cents a day twenty five is less than a dollar a day fifty dollars you know this is a way Imagine the barakah and the blessing of these donations going to spreading the light of our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, around the world. And this is just a list of how much your funds can help us um, expand, celebrate mercy. And I just wanted to show this quick graphic here. You know, this is essentially a campaign to honor the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, who is the best human being that's ever lived. And if you look at the Obama campaign just that just finished in November, Barack Obama raised over a billion dollars for his campaign to become president of the United States for four years. And Mitt Romney raised almost a billion dollars for his campaign. We're not asking for too much, mashallah. So inshallah, if we love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, someone saying we need Barack Obama's help for Celebrate Mercy. <laughs> yes, we do. So yes, we can. So inshallah, if you can help out um, Celebrate Mercy just by giving $10, $20, $50, um, that's a big help. If we love our Prophet Sassana more than even our own family, more than our own selves, then at least inshallah we can get 
a few monthly donors from this webcast here today, people who will commit to giving $10 a month. And you can see, like, we know what we're doing. We're not, we're not just playing around. You know, we're, we're really working our best. Uh, and, and you saw the trailer that came out. Just your money is in good hands. This is a nonprofit organization. And we hope that you can help us to help spread the word and raise the name of our Prophet وسلم, around the world. Alhamdulillah. And lastly, if you'd like a Celebrate Mercy shirt or a sandal pin or a book by Yasmin Mujahid or a calendar, that, that also helps out Celebrate Mercy. You can order those and show your, uh, your, your um, affiliation with this beautiful enterprise, mashallah. 